Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sonet Television. We're going to take a look at a brand new light bar from Sound Off Signal. It is their Apex LED light bar. It's a first look, so essentially what we're going to do is check out the bar, check out some of the features of the bar. There is going to be some technical specs available on the website. The bar itself is a I won't say pre-production, there actually is a production model, but the factory will be producing these bars in the coming months. So again, more information coming available on Sirenet's website. You can check that out as it comes available. Well, here's the light bar. This, of course, is the Apex light bar from SoundOff. And as you can see here, this light bar is very aerodynamic. In fact, it actually has a front slope that is going upwards and then a rear slope at the back of the bar which is going down towards the roof. So essentially air will flow over the bar and because of the way this is angled at the back it will pull straight down. So it is a very very tight bar with respect to aerodynamics. In fact this light bar has more uh, recommendations vis-a-vis -vis, uh, qualifications on the literature than a Russian general would have on his chest at a May Day parade. So something worth noting on that side. So again, a very, very aerodynamic light bar. It's a somewhat unique bar. Soundoff themselves actually were developing this bar for the European market and have brought it into the US market. And I think it's a nice thing to do. I think that it's good to get looks from different parts of the world coming into the United States and really kind of generating a positive buzz in the marketplace. A very nice looking bar, but of course looking nice is just one part of it. Does it actually work? Does it do the job that you want it to do? In this area here is a total of four high intensity white diodes and therefore the alley lights. And what basically goes on here in the way this bar is set up, the lights themselves are angled, so they're actually projecting light to the side and forward. So you're getting an, an effect, something like, I'm kind of showing you here roughly, but basically going like this, but at the same time covering the camera crew as it points at the LED module. So you have forward facing to a degree alley lights. So when you arrive at a scene, you can see a little forward as well as to the side of you. These, of course, lights also go into a flash mode. We'll talk a little bit more about the sort of flash patterns on this bar in a second. But again, they go into a flash mode. The corners of the bar itself actually are using SoundOff's fusion technology. That's the fusion modules that are mounted inside here. And there's a total of 12 Gen 4 diodes inside this particular housing on this bar itself. Very nice tight corner and uh, we'll turn them on real quick and you can see the the intensity here and again you're seeing that you can go through different flash patterns right now you had one side stopped and the other one flashing so again this bar will steady burn it will go through a multitude of flash patterns I don't have all the exact number and as I said earlier they will be coming up on the website as well well I'm quickly looking at the back of the light bar here and there's a series of LED modules going across the back. This bar, by the way, comes in a variety of different lengths. But basically, in this particular array here at the back, there's a very unusual optic design that has been developed by SoundOff that spreads the light with the diodes that are inside here. There's a total of six deep dish diodes in the back of the module here that I'm showing is the rear modules is six inside this module and so forth across the bar. The same on the front, by the way. But the rear modules, of course, as I mentioned earlier, are sloping downwards. Now the modules themselves, the diodes that is, are forward facing or rear facing in this case. But basically what's happening here is that the reflector is in the actual lens, which is a, a somewhat unusual design that SoundOff have put together. Let's take a quick look at the front of the bar. The Forward-facing takedown lights in this bar, and by the way, they can be moved anywhere as far as the modules go, but they're basically set in the center of the bar right here where I'm pointing. And there's two particular options available with the bar when you're ordering it. You can actually have a spot version, which this light bar currently is set up with. We can turn those on real quick. And you can see the intensity on that. The spot version basically um, is a spot. You can also have a flood version of this light and that would then give you 180 degrees when you tie that in with the alley light. So you'll get a 180 degree 
flood on this bar if you decide to go that way. Or again, you can have a spotlight version shining into the vehicle or shining ahead of the vehicle in front of you, depending on what you want to do. The light bar itself is very ruggedly built. You have a aluminum extrusion that runs the entire underneath of the light bar. And this is the power cord coming out here, and then this is the communications gray communications wire coming out here. As you can see, the feet themselves can be moved towards the edge of the bar or in uh, on this aluminum extrusion that basically has a channel that allows you to do that. On the top of the bar, nice and solid, it has a total of three screws. By removing these screws, it lifts off the top panel of the light bar. Another interesting feature about this bar, by the way, is that the front modules can also be put on the back. And basically, what you would do, as you can see, this is sloping downwards. You would take this module out, if you needed to do that, flip it over, and put it in the back so it will be sloping down. So again, the front and rear modules are interchangeable, which is a nice feature of this bar as well. Well, again, you get the bar, and with the bar, you also get this controller module. This controller module basically will do all of the functionality for the light bar, and that allows you to use whatever type of switching control head that you decide to use. You can use it in conjunction with this. At the back end of this module, the communications wire, that's that gray wire, gets plugged in here. And then on the front end of it, you basically have instructions pertaining to what you want to have these particular wires do with the relevant control head that you want to use. So again, you don't need to have a highly sophisticated control head to make this light bar work. And it has a multitude of functionality. By the way, including a traffic arrow is available in conjunction with this particular control module that I'm holding here in my hand. So again, the bar and the control module, the wiring, and the relevant strap kits also come with the bar as well. Well, there you have it, a brand new light bar. It's the Apex light bar. It's available from Sound Off Signal. It's available here on sirenet.com. I'm Stuart. You've been watching Sirenet TV. Check it out. Check out the bar. Enjoy.